Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on using CSS and JavaScript in Django. In this tutorial, we will learn to add CSS and JavaScript files, use them with the Django app. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Python 3.5, Python 3.4-VENV or IA, Gedit Text Editor, and Firefox Web Browser. To follow this tutorial, you need to know how to create templates and forms in Django. If not, then please go through the prerequisite tutorials in this website. Using CSS, we can set the look and style for a web page. JavaScript allows us to create dynamic web pages. In Django, CSS, JavaScript or image files are referred as static files. Conventionally, they are stored in a folder called static. Django will look for static files in the app's static folder. Let us open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Now using cd command, go to the folder my Django which we had created earlier. Activate the virtual environment my app underscore env. Go to the folder my site using cd command. Here onwards. Please remember to press the enter key after typing each command. Start the server. Open a web browser and type the URL as shown. This will take us to the get underscore blocks view function page. Here we can see the output as plain text. Using CSS, we will apply some styles to this page. Switch to the terminal. For our convenience, let us work on a separate tab. Press Shift, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Ensure that we are in the My Site directory in the new terminal window. If not, then go to the My Site directory using the cd command. We will create a static folder to hold our CSS and JavaScript files inside the block folder. Type mkdir space block slash static. Now create a folder named blog inside the static folder. Block folder inside the static folder is created to avoid name clashes between apps if any. Now we will create a folder named CSS to store the CSS files inside this new block directory. Type mkdir space block slash static slash block slash CSS. Next, we will create a base CSS file named base.css inside the folder CSS. Go to the folder CSS using the cd command. Now open the base.css file in any text editor. I will open it in gedit text editor by typing gedit space base.css space ampersand. We are now in base.css file. Type the code as shown here. List style type property specifies the appearance of a list item. Here it is assigned to upper roman. Save the file. Next we have to add the CSS in our template file blocks.html. Switch to the terminal. Come back to the my site folder using the cd command. Then open the blocks.html file from the templates folder in a text editor. We are inside the blocks.html file. Above the body start tag, 
update the code as shown here. Next, inside the UL start tag, type the code as shown here. Using the link tag, we have linked our CSS file to the HTML template. REL attribute defines the relationship between the linked file and the HTML document. REL equal to stylesheet specifies a persistent or preferred style. Type specifies the MIME type of the linked document. The value text slash CSS indicates that the content of the file is CSS. href specifies the location of the linked document. Static template tag build the URL for the given path using the configured static file storage. Load static will load the static files from the static folder. Here we added class number to the template for CSS effect. Save the file. We have added the CSS style to our template. Now let us cross verify this. Switch to the browser and refresh the page. We can see that the blog objects are listed in Roman letters. Let us now add one more style to the page. Switch to the base.css file in the text editor. Next to the current style property, type the code as shown here. This will set the text color to blue for each list item. Color property specifies the color of the text. Here, the color of the text is set to blue. Save the file. Switch to the browser and refresh the page. Now, we can see that the blog objects are listed in Roman letters and the displayed text color is blue. Next, let us add a JavaScript to Django templates. Switch to the second terminal. Create a folder named JS under static slash block directory. Next, create a JavaScript file named welcome.js inside the JS folder. We are now inside the welcome.js file. Type the code as shown here. When the web page opens, the alert function will open a pop-up box and display the given message. In this case, it will display welcome to the blog app. We have now added a simple JavaScript. Save the file. Switch to the blogs.html file to include this JavaScript file in that code. Next to the link tag for CSS, type the code as shown. Then inside the body start tag, type space onload equal to within double quotes, greet opening and closing brackets. We have included the JavaScript file inside the edge section using the script tag. The src attribute specifies the URL of an external script file. The onload event occurs when the object has been loaded. So, when the page is loaded on the browser, the greet function will be called. We have now linked the JavaScript file to our template. Save the file. Switch to the browser and refresh the page. We see a pop-up with the message, Welcome to the blog app. Click on OK to close the pop-up. In this example, we have seen how to link a simple CSS style and a JavaScript with the Django app. Likewise, we can add more styles and functions to make our page dynamic and attractive. Switch to the first terminal, stop the server and deactivate the virtual environment. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to add CSS 
and JavaScript files. Use them with the Django app as an assignment. Set the font color for the block list item to red. Using JavaScript, create a pop-up to display Hello Django. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general or technical questions in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This script has been contributed by Tyagarajar College of Engineering and FASI Project IIT Bombay. The video has been recorded by Praveen from Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. Thanks for watching.